Hallelujah to the Almighty God. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to the Spirit of God. Lord, this morning we've come to present our hearts to you. And we say, Lord, from our hearts to the heavens, be at the center, Lord. Be at the center of it all. Be at the center of our worship. Be at the center of our praise. Be at the center of our supplications. Be at the center of our petitions. Lord, everything, oh God, it's all about you. It's all about you. Lord, we surrender to you. We surrender to you, the King of glory, the Lord of lords. Father, we thank you for the dawning of a new day. We are grateful this morning that you've given us the grace to wake up, the grace to come into your presence, the grace to pray, the grace to speak and a voice comes out of our voice box, the grace, oh God, to stand up, to walk about, the grace, oh God, it is by your grace we can open our eyes and read the Bible, the grace to see, the grace to even hear, Lord, that as the voices are going on right now, our ears are working. We just thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord, and we are just grateful and we are just thankful this morning, oh God, for great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of your holiness. We just want to thank you upon Mount Zion. What an awesome God we are serving. What a good God you are. Father, how wonderful, how glorious is your holy name. We worship you. Father, from whom all fatherhood derives its name. We've presented ourselves once again as your children and we want to bless your name and acknowledge your fatherhood. Acknowledge your greatness. We want to say thank you, Father. Thank you for the adoption you've adopted us with. Thank you that we are children children of the most high God. Thank you, Lord, that we are accepted in the beloved. Thank you, Lord, that you love us, oh God, with an everlasting love. Lord, we don't even know why you love us, but we know you love us because you loved us enough to send your only begotten son, Jesus, to die in our place, to carry our punishment, to take, oh God, the fire of judgment so that we would stand this morning cleansed and sanctified justified and justified by faith. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah to your holy name. Good morning, my brethren. Good morning. You know, the Bible says about our Father, you know, when we go to the book of Matthew, Matthew 21, you know, the Lord Jesus was teaching us how to pray. And he says, after this man, I pray, therefore, he didn't say, um, I want you to pray like this all the time. But he says, I'm giving you a template. I'm giving you a template about how to pray. You know, this after this man, I pray and say, our father who art in heaven, you know, hallowed be your name. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name this morning. Let's come to our father and say, Father, hallowed be your name this morning. Father, may your name be honored. Father, we thank you because you are awesome in this place, mighty God. Father, you are great and greatly to be praised. Father, you are awesome. We honor you. We magnify you. We reverence your name for great are you, Father. Father, you have done great things for us. Father, we bless your name. We acknowledge your greatness. We acknowledge how wonderful you are. And we thank you, Father. Honor to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Father. Mighty one of Israel, the great Father, the one who is above all powers, all thrones, all principalities, all the universe, every created thing. Father God, we worship you. For our Father, you deserve the adoration. You deserve the praise. You deserve the glory. You deserve the majesty. For who is our Father except you? Who can be compared to you? Who can be compared to the King of glory and the Lord of lords? Who is like you, Father? We worship you. We honor you this morning. We acknowledge, Lord, that we have a Father. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You've done it again, Father. You have never left us to fend for ourselves. And you've done it again this morning. You've woke us up this morning. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We 
thank you. Thank you, mighty one. Thank you, the glorious God. Thank you, the King of Kings. We worship and exalt your name. Hallelujah to you, Father. Hallelujah to you, glorious one. Hallelujah. We worship you. Thank you, mighty Father. Honor be to your name. When we go to the book of Ephesians chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 3, the Bible says from verse um, 14, it says, I'm reading Amplified. For this reason, grasping the greatness of the plan by which Jews and Gentiles are joined together in Christ, I bow my knees in reverence before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. God, the first and ultimate father. We bow our knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ in reverence. He is the father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Child of God, whatever is your surname this morning, whatever is the name that your family is called after, that name derives its name from God. We all come, it all leads back. When you trace the, the surnames of our fathers, it all leads back to Father God. That is the chief surname above all other surnames. It leads back to Elohim, the creator of every living thing. It leads back to El Elyon, the possessor of the heavens and the earth. He is the father from whom all fatherhood derives its name. He is the first and the ultimate father. Let's honor him this this morning and say, Father, we just acknowledge that you are the father from whom all fatherhood derives its name. The earthly fathers we have and we had, they are wonderful and great, but Lord, they cannot be compared to you for you are the father from whom all fatherhood derives its name. You've been with us since before the foundation of the earth and Lord, you've known about me. You've known about my brothers and sisters in Christ ever before we were formed in our mother. This womb. You are the father who was aware of our destinies even ever before the earth was created. You are the father who has known us from since before time began. And Lord, we are grateful this morning that we have this kind of a father. We acknowledge your fatherhood, that we are not orphans. We are not alone. We have a father, an almighty father who is king of kings and who is Lord of lords. Thank you, father. We worship you this morning. We honor you. We glorify your name. You are worthy to be praised, our Father in heaven. And then when we go back to Matthew, when we go to Matthew chapter 6, the Bible says, the Lord said, pray like this. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let us begin to ask our Father. Let your will be done, Father, this morning. Yes, let your kingdom come. Father, your kingdom of righteousness. The Bible told us that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. And so, Father, this morning, as we invite your kingdom to be made manifest, we come by the blood of Jesus and we walk in righteousness that comes from the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse, wash, perfect, purify, purge us of every form of unrighteousness. Let the blood of Jesus uh, change and transform us, O oh God. Anything in us that is not the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, we reject it, we repent of it, we renounce it, we denounce it, and we ask the blood. Let the blood speak, uh, for the kingdom of heaven is not meat and drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Uh, Lord, we want to walk in righteousness. Father, is there anything that has defiled us? Are we defiled in any way? We are pleading the blood of Jesus and receiving a cleansing in the name of Jesus. For our father is hallowed. Our father is hallowed. He is a God who is holy. The God who dwells in consecration and in sanctification. Lord, cleanse us this morning. Wash our families. Wash our bloodlines. Purify us, O God, and let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We know there is 
no uncleanness in heaven. There is no uncleanness on the heavenly Jerusalem, Mount Zion territory. Lord, therefore, let there be no uncleanness in our houses, in our families, in our bloodlines. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us this morning and let your kingdom come, O oh God. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, not our will, not our agenda, but your will, Father God, that which you have purposed for such a time as this, that which you have thought about, uh, that which you, O oh God, uh, have, 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 have willed, O oh God, for such a time as this. In the name of Jesus, uh, cleanse us, mighty God. Wash us, O oh God. For the Bible said, no one can serve two masters. Father, we refuse to serve the enemy and his agencies. We refuse to serve any unclean spirit. Uh, we only want to serve you, almighty God. We want to serve the kingdom of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, let the power of God cleanse us. Uh, let the power of God wash us. Uh, let the power of God perfect that which concerns us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the territories we live in, we take authority over demonic agendas and realms of wickedness. And we say, let your kingdom come in my community, in my town, in my city, in my nation. All the nations we are connected with by birth, by blood, by um, Lord God Almighty, where we are dwelling, by virtue of where we live. We take authority over the spiritual atmosphere and we say, let the kingdom of God come in this territory in the name of Jesus. Let every knee bow. Let every tongue confess Jesus is Lord. We take authority over unclean spirits and ordinances of wickedness. We take authority over evil altars that had been raised against the will of God. Every power that is in rebellion to the truth of God, we take authority over you in the name of Jesus. Let these territories be cleansed by the power in the name of Jesus and the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we purge wickedness and unclean cleanness and filter in all the dimensions around us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And we ask, oh God, uh, let your kingdom come. For when your kingdom comes, uh, we walk in freedom. We walk in deliverance. We walk in healing. We walk, oh God, in your peace, uh, in the peace of God that transcends all understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Brethren, we sang the song, Jesus at the center of it all. And we ask Jesus to be the center of the church, to be the center of our lives, to be at the center of whatever we do. We want to turn that into prayer this morning. Matthew 6 verse 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart, your wishes, your desires, um, and that on which your life centers will be also. Where your treasure is, is where your wishes, your desires, and that on which your life centers will be also. Let us pray this morning. Jesus, may you be my treasure. Lord, I receive that grace to treasure you, to treasure my Father in heaven, to treasure the Holy Spirit. Give me the grace, Lord, that my heart, my wishes, my desires will always be centered on God, will be centered on his will, will be centered on his plans and his purposes in the name name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, I pray that my treasure will be in your presence. Uh, my treasure will be where you are. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, realign my desires, realign my wishes, uh, realign, oh God, uh, that which I desire to be focused on you, mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, let every desire, Lord, uh, be focused on the things above and not beneath. Regado socoria bababababababa. Regado socondorobo Shaya, Masi and Arabo Kurra Baba Babasia, Maria Gadasi and Arabosia, Makuri and Derebo Kurra Baba Baba Baba, Ligado Socondo Robosia, Ligadis in Brado Socondo Robobo, Lord, in the name of Jesus, realign my desires, realign my desires, focus my desires, O God, on what is important for you, Lord, at such a time as this, realign my agenda in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And then Matthew 6, 22 says, The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is clear and spiritually perceptive, your whole body will be full of light, benefiting from God's precepts. But if your eye is bad and spiritually blind, your whole body will be full of darkness. Um, so, 
If the very light inside of you, in your inner self, if the light in your heart, in your conscience is darkness, how great and terrible is that darkness? Let us begin to ask God once again. You know, we've prayed before about the gates into our soul and our spirit. And we've prayed about the eye gate, the ear gate, the mouth gate, the touch gate, you know. All these senses that we have, these are gates that even demons, they use to access people. People wonder, how did the demon get in? It, it Sometimes it may go in through the eye. People, you are looking at somebody. Instead of looking them with the eye of the Spirit of God, you are looking at them with jealousy, with envy, with bitterness, with resentment. You know, you are hearing something. You are not hearing it with the right attitude, you know, and it can open the door. You know, the things we eat, we taste, that gate and the things we speak out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I just want us to pray this morning, starting with the eye gate. Let any way that my eye has been tempered with, my eye gate has been tempered with. Let the blood of Jesus wash this eye gate in the name of Jesus. I don't want to be spiritually blind and I don't want my eye to be bad. I don't want my body to be full of darkness. I want my eye gate to be purged and cleansed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray, children of God. Maria Gadoso Koria Bababasia. Father, by the power in the blood of Jesus, we are pleading the blood. On our eye gate, oh God, Masika Tarabo Siandarabo Kurra Baba Baba Baba, Limbrado Sokondoro Bokurra Baba Baba Baba. Let the eye gate be cleansed, oh God. Let the eye gate be, be, be cleansed and washed and perfected in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything in my eyes, oh God, that is stopping me from seeing the God Almighty working in the way He's working. Anything stopping me from seeing your glory. Anything stopping me from seeing your truth. Anything stopping me, Oh God, uh, from seeing the way I'm supposed to see anything affecting my perception. Mighty God, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Let the eye gate be purged uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, whatever is stopping us from seeing, Lord, uh, with the eye of heaven, Lord, with the eye that is perfected and purified, uh, I am pleading the blood of Jesus this morning. I am pleading the blood. Lord, cleanse everything every one of us. The Bible says, if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. Lord, anyway, our eyes are not seeing correctly. We pray in the name of Jesus this morning. Cleanse our eye gate, almighty God. Cleanse the eye gate, oh God. Every eye gate in this place, be cleansed, be washed by the blood of Jesus. Lord, just as Eve saw, oh God, the fruit from the tree they were not supposed to eat from, and she lasted after that tree. Lord, we are praying. Anyway, our eyes have been lasting after the wrong things. Where there is the last of the flesh, Lord, the last of the eyes, we are pleading the blood of Jesus on our eye gate. And we pray, Lord, let the eye gate be sanctified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, God, uh, where some people, the eye gate has led them to adultery, to fornication, to temptation. Lord, we are pleading the blood of Jesus upon their eye gate. Lord, any form of sexual perversions that have come through the eye gate, I pray for every one of us on this prayer line that Lord, the blood of Jesus would cleanse your children. Lord, uh, some people's eye gate has been... Um, defiled with pride. They've looked down on other people. They've looked at people with contempt. Father, we are pleading the blood of Jesus. Let the eye gate be cleansed of pride, Lord, and haughtiness. Let the blood of Jesus sanctify the eye gate. Lord, judge the iniquities of the eye gates in your righteousness and truth. By the blood of Jesus, we call into the courtrooms of heaven. Everything that has gone through the eye gates that is not of God. Lord, we pray for our sons and our daughters and our young people. Any last of the eyes, uh, pornography, unclean spirits, uh, Lord, arrogance and pride uh, that have controlled the eye gate. Uh, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that the power of God uh, would put a judgment on all of these uh, and any other that, may, Lord, we may have forgot to mention. We pray that these entities be purged from our eye gates by the blood of Jesus uh, and every defilement be removed by the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Brethren, I want us to go to the ear gate as well. Is there anything that has come through the ear gate that has caused people to live in fear or caused people to live a life that is not of God? Sometimes it may be news that you heard. It may be a letter you read. It may be a diagnosis you, 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 you received. Anything that has come through the ear gate that has caused us to sin. Remember yesterday we were saying whatever, whatever is not of faith is sin. Anything that has come through your eye gate that is, sorry, your ear gate that is has defiled your ear gate. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus and say, Father God, I present my ear gates to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Anything, oh God, that has defiled my ear gate, I plead the blood of Jesus, oh God. I plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, where I've listened to the counsel of the ungodly, where I have listened, oh God, to the ungodly, where I have listened to the wrong advice, or oh, I've walked with the sinners and sat with the mockers like some one, 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 warns us against. Lord, have mercy. Anyway, I've listened to the wrong things. Lord God Almighty, I've watched the wrong film. I've listened to the wrong song. My sons, my daughters, my brothers, my sisters have listened to the wrong things. My children have listened to the wrong song. They have listened to that rap song, that drill rap that has programmed them for violence or for murder. Father, we are pleading the blood of Jesus. Let the ear gate be washed in the name of Jesus. Where we've listened to gossip, we've listened to to slander. We've listened to things, oh God, that destroy us inside. Lord, our ears have listened with evil intent. Lord, where our ears, oh God, have listened to sabotage. We've listened to backbiting. We've listened to people attacking others. Father, we call all of these to the courtroom of heaven for judgment and we rebuke these evil spirits. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, where Satan has given people spiritual deafness that they are not able to hear the voice of our Lord Jesus. They are not able to hear the voice of the spirit. They are not able to hear when angels are communing with them. Father God, we pray, judge this spiritual deafness by the blood of Jesus. Let these evil entities be judged that have been hindering our ear gate in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, where we have listened to abuse. Father, where people have been verbally abused, where they've been abused, they have been treated shamefully. Evil words have been planted as a seed. Father, we purge them out of our ear gate in the name of Jesus. We refuse to hear through that criticism and that abuse in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we divorce our ear gate from evil things. We cleanse our ear gate by the blood of Jesus and we open our ear gate wide for the King of glory to come in and to rule in righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the ear gates be cleansed this morning. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray. Let every ear hear. Hear with the voice of the Spirit. Jesus said, My sheep know my my voice and they hear my voice and they heed my voice. Lord, from today, we are the sheep of Jesus. All of us and the families we represent, our sons, our daughters, our children, our children's children. We are the children of God. We hear the voice of Jesus. Our hearing is not impaired in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of the natural. Our hearing is not impaired in any way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are not impaired. We can hear. We hear well. Masuketere in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our ears. Thank you, Lord, for cleansing our ears and empowering us to hear well. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, I want us to go to the mouth gate. When we go to the book of James, James chapter 3. The Bible tells us the whole story, you know, about how we put um, bridles in the mouths of horses to direct them. How um, big uh, sheep and cruise liners, they are just, um, you know, driven by a little small rudder. And then it says, but look at the tongue. Um, and it says in James 3, 5, the tongue is a small part of the body, yet it boasts great things because it can set a great fire by a small spark. It says the tongue is in a sense a fire um, and it, it sets fire um, to the world of injustice and unrighteousness and it, it can destroy things, you know. 
and it's it's something that can become undisciplined and unruly. It says in verse 9 of James 3, with the mouth, you know, we bless our Lord and the Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the likeness of God. He says, out of the same mouth is coming both blessing and cursing. And he says, these things, my brothers and sisters, should not be this way. For we have a moral obligation to speak in a manner that reflects our fear of God and profound respect for his precepts. Does a spring send out from the same opening both fresh and bitter water? Can a fig tree, my brothers and sisters, produce olives or grape vine produce figs? Can salt water produce fresh water? And then so it's telling us all about the tongue. And when we go into the book of Matthew 12, uh, 34, Jesus says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We want to pray this morning for our mouth gate. Anything that has come out of our mouths that has been unruly and disciplined, that has not upheld the principles of the kingdom of God. We want to plead the blood of Jesus and repent of it. Any words we have released that have been harmful, harmful to ourselves, harmful to others. Sometimes the things we say sabotage us. They sabotage the breakthrough. They sabotage the testimony. They sabotage what God is doing. When we speak words of doubt and belief, they cause demonic realm to receive. Receive those words and oppose our breakthrough. Lord, let's begin to ask the Lord. Um, I want to give us an example. Sometimes people speak against themselves. Um, you remember when Jacob was about to go and lie to his father Isaac and pretend to be Esau. His mother gave him the strategy and said, go on, you'll be fine. And Jacob was afraid and said, mom, what if he discovers that it's, it's me, Jacob, and I... I'm exposed as a liar to my father and he then curses me. What's going to happen to me? And the mom said, your curse be upon me, my son. And you know, indeed the curse came upon her. She died prematurely. Some words that we say become word curses that sabotage us to pray. Let us pray for our mouth gate. Have we given away God's gifts to other people by the things we spoke, the wrong pronouncements and then now we are sorry because the thing that we wanted has not come to pass but the mouth gate released the wrong information. Let's plead the blood of Jesus on this mouth gate. Father where my mouth gate has been blessing and cursing myself, I plead the blood of Jesus and pray for mercy. Bible says with the same mouth we bless and then we curse. What does a curse mean? A curse means you've issued a limitation You've issued something that doesn't allow prosperity in that direction. You blessed yourself and came on the prayer line and say, I'm blessed. I am highly favored. I am healed. My God has supplied all my needs according to his riches in glory. Then you left the prayer line and said, oh, poor me. Oh, I've really suffered in this world. Look at my sickness. You called it my sickness. Not anybody else's. You say my sickness. Oh, look at my sickness. Oh, look at my debt. Look at my credit card. You claimed everything back and cursed yourself. Let us plead the blood of Jesus. Father God, whatever curses we've been releasing with our mouth gate, we have spoken against ourselves. We have spoken against our children, our spouses, our family members. Father, we repent of all these things. We are pleading the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak over each and every one of us where the mouth gate has released, oh God, curses, word curses, limitations. We've issued the wrong decrees because the Bible says where the word of a king is, there is power. You shall decree a thing and it is established unto you. Light will shine on your ways. And Jesus said, we are kings and priests unto our God. So if you've been talking anyhow, know right now that every time you talk where the word of a king is, there is power. You're a king. And everything you say has power to come to pass. Father, in the name of Jesus, where we have said the wrong things, the mouth gate has been out of order. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus. We repent, oh God, of all the things the mouth gate has said. We pray the blood of Jesus to cleanse the mouth gate. Where we've used the mouth gate for cursing others, for cursing, lying, negativity, being negative. Glass is half full. Nobody can encourage you. You're always negative. Lord, we repent of negativity. 
negativity. What about judging, murmuring, complaining, gossiping, gluttony, all these things that are going through the mouth gate. Lord, we pray for mercy. Where we have sinned and not guarded our tongues. Father God, where we have released the fires of hell into our lives and into the lives of other people. We plead the blood of Jesus, standing under the covering of your love, almighty God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, judge the iniquities of the mouth gate. In your righteousness and truth, we call all these evil things into the courtrooms of heaven and say, Father, let your judgment be upon them. Let them be bound.